Wow, Sunday morning, seven o'clock. I slept longer than usual because the sun is getting up later, so I get up later. Um, I go to Starbucks to freshen up. I had a quiet, nice night and yeah, just waking up. But waking up in San Francisco, <laughs> it's great. I have yet to find out what kind of neighborhood this is. I don't know, but it's pretty cool. Lots of bars, restaurants. This is pretty cool. This is like a proper bathroom in a, in a hotel. So if you ever come to San Francisco, need a good place to park your car and spend the night, come to 8th Street and basically just park over there. There's a Starbucks around the corner. The code is 12312 to use the toilets. <laughs> There's nobody around. It's still pre-breakfast. I had two dates and I've got a banana in my backpack. The girl at the entrance was kind of funny. I said, it's nice and quiet here. Not many people around. Yeah, you know, not a lot of people get up to look at plants for things in the morning. I wonder if they have a tropical house here where I can just warm up. I should have taken a coffee from Starbucks. You know there are some benefits to going to a botanical garden first thing in the morning. There's nobody around, the sprinklers are still on, and it's a unique experience. Walking through the garden on a Sunday morning, freezing my butt off. This is great fun. It's not getting warmer though. I'm getting hungry, but I've seen the botanical garden, most of it anyway. It's nice, it's quiet, it's super duper full of plants and... I'm at the University of San Francisco. I'd like to go to their shop. It's closed today, it's gonna be open tomorrow morning. I'm gonna be back here tomorrow morning because I wanna have a look at their merchandise. Now I'm going to Trader Joe's and it's completely misty and foggy and black, gray in San Francisco today. They've got private bathrooms and I might even go there and wash my hair tomorrow or maybe today, I don't know yet, but that's pretty cool. You've got a private washroom and if you're quick, nobody says anything. Trader Joe's? top-notch bananas and I do my, my shopping there as well so they can't complain I'm spending money and I'm getting something in return it's clearing up soon it's gonna be 14 degrees in 45 minutes 8 degrees god damn it I had 26 two days ago even yesterday it was at least double that Well, this is definitely not the best day to do sightseeing in San Francisco. It's still great, but I mean, a bit of sunshine would, would be really, really nice. A lot of people are wearing those masks. And well, Google informed me that it's unhealthy air quality in San Francisco for sensitive groups. The sun just came out. I love it. Finally, it's getting a bit warmer. space here on the hill I think it's called Russian Hill with a brilliant view towards Fisherman's Wharf and Alcatraz and yeah, I'm, I'm even considering sleeping here but I don't know yet I can stay here till tomorrow morning 8 o'clock but there aren't any washrooms or anything around but it's so tough to find any parking space in San Francisco today is Sunday I can stay here all day and tomorrow it's a two hour parking limit basically everywhere in the inner city of San Francisco unless you have a special permit for residents. Turned out to be a great day after all. Well, it, it usually does. All the 
tourists are driving down this road. It's a must-do for tourists. San Francisco's Fisherman's Wharf. People were queuing here last time for chocolate or hot chocolate or I don't know what. The funny thing is, I did indeed decide to stay here tonight. I just call it a day, I don't feel like driving anymore. I'm gonna get up super early tomorrow anyway. So yeah. Let's see how I can sleep here on Russian Hill. I'm gonna sneak into my sleeping bag and see you tomorrow. Greetings from San Francisco. Mm -hmm.